Hi, it's Dia. Today I took one Crayola colored pencil, one Faber-Castell Polychromos pencil, and one Spear Farben pencil, and I did an experiment about burnishing. So that's what we're going to talk about today. Burnishing is a process that works the colored pencil into the tooth of the paper until no paper tooth shows through. It produces a smooth kind of solid look and it can transform a colored pencil looking picture into one that almost looks like a painting. Now here is a really pretty colored pencil drawing that has no burnishing done whatsoever. The results are simple, pretty, and uh, the colored pencil almost looks transparent. Then you can compare it to this image where every inch of the page is covered, although it doesn't have to be, but in this instance it is. The results are deep, rich, and almost painterly looking colors. The page is actually heavier because it contains so much of the colored pencil. And if you tip the page back and forth in a proper light, you can see the actual glossy shine to the finish. Both of those images are from one of my coloring books called The Buns. Now what I did here was cover an area with a colored pencil. The top, the top line was done with Crayola. The one that I'm coloring in now is done with Polychromos, the Faber-Castell Polychromos pencils. And what I did uh, in the first little square was I just took the same color and I did multiple layers of the same color until I couldn't see any more white um, detail of the paper or texture of the paper come through. In the second box, I used a brush and terpenoid, which is mineral spirits, and I blended and burnished that way. In the third box, I used a colorless blender, and in this case, it was the Prismacolor colorless blender, and I just kept at it once again until I couldn't see any more texture or white in that box. In the fourth square, I burnished with a white colored pencil. In this case, it was the Spira Farben. I skipped a line here and went down just so you could see the difference possibly in the way that they're all being blended. The top line was Crayola, and I had the hardest time getting that to blend. The middle box, which was um, the Faber-Castell, blended like a dream. And the third line was the Spira Farben pencils, which blended wonderfully also. Now in this box, I used the Tortillion, which wasn't great. And I must say it did not do the best job. And in the last box, I did nothing. So you could see the difference between the burnished versions and the unburnished. Now here were the results. Burnishing done in the first box with just the same colored pencil obviously gave the most intense results. It took a minute to cover the whole thing and it did build up uh, like a, a waxy kind of shiny surface. In the second box with the, mirror, the mineral spirits or the, or the terpenoid, I felt like that blended the best, but it took some of the intensity away from the color. So my recommendation would be if you want to use that, use it and then you can even go over the top and you can get the intensity back. The third one um, was the colorless blender. I think it was almost similar to the mineral spirits, but it took much longer. The white, that was interesting too because it is another colored pencil. I thought it was going to be similar results to the colorless blender, but it does make it even more muted and more diluted. It, it uh, cuts the color, of course, because you're adding white pigment to it. And uh, for some reason, it seemed like it took a little bit longer than the colorless blender to get rid of the original white. Uh, and on the next box, which was the stump or the tortillion, it really didn't do much to blend it. It, it gave like a, a little bit of a, a, a shadow of a, of a blend, but I wouldn't recommend it. I would recommend any of the other ones and 
sorry tortillion or stump but you get the thumbs down and then you can compare it in the last box which has nothing to all the other versions so you can pick which one you like the best i will put all of the items that i spoke about in the information box below including my coloring book and well all the images on here were from my my coloring books and those will also be listed below either the amazon version or the very fancy artist's edition which are available uh, in my etsy store and they're on gorgeous acid-free thick dense paper all the images that you just saw were were examples of pages that were completely burnished and in my opinion, in the most beautiful way. So thank you for watching. I hope you liked this video. If you want to see more like this, give me a thumbs up and uh, let me know. Oh, and stay tuned because later in the week, I have a mini giveaway coming up. So I'll see you then. Thanks. Bye.